Welcome to the channel. We all know that a good launcher can dramatically improve our experience on computers. Today, I'm going to introduce Vox. It's a launcher running on Windows system, just like Alfred on Mac OS. Let's get started. As you can see, Vox has a clear and simple user interface, just an input box. All we need to do is enter the keywords, and Vox will find the application or files for us. Let's say I want to open a text editor named Sublime. So I just need to enter Sublime in the text box. As you can see, Vox is displaying results while I'm entering in the real time. Select the right item in the list, then press Enter. Vox will open the application for you. If you are a software developer, you may like this functionality very much. It can run command line directly in Vox. Enter a grid line sign first, then white space. Then you can start typing the command line you want to run. Then Vox will open the command line application on Windows and run the command line you just entered. This is very convenient, right? If you enter a color code, Vox will display corresponding color in the result list. I think this is very useful if you are a designer or a web application developer. You can extend Vox by installing plugins. The command line and the color code functionalities are all from plugins. I also have some useful plugins installed. For example, if I want to know the IP addresses on my computer, I just need to type in IPADR, then Vox will display the public and private IP. You can also do Google search in Vox. You just need to enter G, a web space, then put the keywords you want to search after that. Then Vox will open the default browser on your computer, then show the Google search result. If you like Vox, please go to Vox.1 to download it. You can also find a lot of useful plugins on the site. Okay, that's all I get for today. See you next time.